What do we know about what really happened? Are there videos of the incident or any other documentation? Does the police version differ from that of the witnesses? Uh, I, I want to preface this by saying that right now to speculate on the exact facts is a little dangerous, especially with mm -hmm. potential litigation coming up in the future. Uh, also, we're not necessarily speaking on behalf of the family, so I don't want to say anything that might damage their case. Uh, but what we can say is that in the immediate aftermath of the situation, witnesses that were in the car were all arrested uh, and they were taken by police and, and dealt with the way that police normally deal with people in a criminal investigation. Uh, but those people were all silenced pretty immediately. Uh, and then as far as anyone who was trying to film the aftermath or uh, take any video of the police response, they were also intimidated and harassed and at least one person who took video was arrested as well uh, and their video was confiscated. Uh, so there's been a general uh, attempt by the Denver police to try to control the narrative and control any and all uh, reporting or video or any sort of uh, anecdotal uh, observations of what happened and to stifle anyone from differing with the actual official account of what occurred that day. So why are there so many incidents? Uh, in just seven months of police uh, uh, saying that they were attacked uh, uh, by people in their cars to justify shootings, Is it, I mean, is this some sort of bizarre trend that police are claiming? You know, we, we don't know if it's just coincidental or if the, the moving car has now become the new planted gun, if it's just a convenient excuse for opening fire on mostly black and brown drivers in, in Denver, starting with uh, Ryan Ronquillo uh, in July, July 2nd of 2014, would have been the first of the four incidents that you're uh, referencing. Uh, he was actually in a parked car when the police attempted to apprehend him outside of a funeral. Uh, he was sitting in a car at a funeral uh, when the police barged in with two unmarked vehicles, slammed into his vehicle, and then shot his car over 12 times. So even in that situation, they claim that he put the car in reverse and hit a cop. Uh, but in that moment, uh, even uh, as the, the situation unfolded, when the police first made contact with him, the car wasn't even moving. Uh, and that was actually the case in a, in a second situation as well with Sherrod Kindle. Uh, where the car wasn't initially moving either uh, until police pulled over Sherrod, intervened with Sherrod, pulled him out of the car, and then his foot moved off of the brake, uh, causing the car to, to, to move backwards against the police cruiser. Uh, so we have multiple incidents where there, there may or may not have been a crime that was even initially uh, occurring at the time that the police contacted the suspects, but because a vehicle may or may not have moved during the police altercation, they use that as an excuse to open fire and kill or seriously wound the occupant of the vehicle.